Hey, what's up, guys? EQZ here, and welcome back to another episode of our FC24 Paris FC career mode season two, guys. We're back with another episode. This is episode six, and we are gonna get straight into it, guys. We got a lot of games to play with. You guys remember last episode? Honestly, it wasn't the most exciting episode. We managed to get some wins towards the end, but they were in the cup competition of the Coupe Nationale. That was a positive. We are through to the quarterfinals, but in terms of the league, I mean, just look at that. We lost all three of our opening or two of our opening league matches, and we, we managed to get one at the end but just wasn't the most you know exciting episode especially against Strasbourg which we we should have won that game for sure and then against PSG we scored first and I mean we just let it slip away the boy Mbama got injured and he's out for seven months with an ACL so he will not be uh you know with us for the remainder of the season unfortunately it was a terrible terrible injury for him especially so young 20 years old still but we did make an emergency signing in this guy right here Watai at the right wing position and we slot in Tori back at the uh, striker position Watai Watai 25 years old not the highest rated honestly i mean higher rated than mubama for sure but obviously a little older should be a little bit higher rated it was an emergency signing we didn't have a lot of time to scout and i just kind of made a decision and signed him so we're gonna see him make his uh well he made his debut last episode but i'm gonna actually be able to play with him to see how he does when i play we're gonna get through the month of february here we have three games to get through at the month of february then we have uh march to get through we're gonna get through two games we're gonna play against leon and then toulouse here and then Rennes. So our first match here is going to be against FC Nantes here in the league. We're going to get to a pre-match report. So they play a 4-2-3-1 formation. They got three wins in the last five matches. Three and a half star rating. Ninth place. I think they're one above us right now or one below us. I can't. I forgot. They have a standard tactical vision and they have no key players whatsoever. This is the lineup we are going to go with. Cade, Cowell, Torre, and Watai. The new trio up top to see how they link up. I know it's Watai. is only his only second game, but I think he can slot in and start getting chemistry early on with this team. And of of course everything else is unchanged so we're gonna go ahead and get into this match guys away from home and let's see if we can get the episode started off with a win last episode we did not have a great start let's see if we can change that in this episode let's go Kabbalah Kate Cowell switches it over to Gwe Gwe can he put us up in front Gwe yes what a goal from Gwe and we are up 1-0 here early in the game I mean, what a goal. Gwe got the ball and he just took it. An assist from Cade Cow, I believe. And that's another goal for Gwe, who continues his goal scoring run. And look at that. Six goals in 20 matches. We will check the stats after uh, this episode to see all the statistics from the players. All right, guys. Halftime. 1-0 for Paris FC. Not doing too bad. I think we just have to get a little bit more shots. We've only had three. Usually, I like to have around five by halftime, to be honest. They're doing pretty good. Cade Cow is having a good game. Cabal bossing the midfield, as always. The defense is doing pretty pretty well i think i need tori and watai to step it up a little bit watai he's not a bad player he could have scored early in the game he had a like a wide open opportunity he somehow missed he could have got his first goal for the club but he did not so that's a little bit of a negative for him but other than that i feel confident we are going to win this game we just got to get another goal early on in the second half to have a little bit more of a cushion so let's go ahead and get into the second half and see what we can do Facing to lose. No! Oh my god, man. And we just gave away a penalty. And it's gonna be a red card. Tori again, dude. It's the same player. And we might Oh my god. Alright, let's come on. Stefan, I need I need I need Stefan to save this. Come on, Stefan. Come on, Stefan. You save it. Nah. I always go the wrong way every time. Alright, well they tied it up late in the second half. And that is just not what we want, is it? No way, dude. No way. Oh my god. It's just like the Strasbourg game, man. We shouldn't have lost that game, but we somehow are going to lose this game as well and drop three points. This is embarrassing. Oh my god, that hurts. That really does hurt. Go, Torre. Torre strikes it. Oh my god. Uh, that's it, guys. We lose 2 1. Tori is out with the red card. And that is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh my god. I just, I, uh, I really can't. Like, we even have more possession, more shots. But when we were down to 10 men, it just went downhill from there. Gwe with the goal. 8.7 rating. He had a very good game. Quatain had a decent game as well. Kate Cow with the assist. He dropped off in the second half, though. Watai, just not really good attacking wise. I, I, need, I need more from him. But yeah, just. Just not a good performance. 
and we dropped three points yet again all righty guys our next game is against fc lorient here we are going to sim this one so let's just get into our pre-match report really quickly here they play a 5-4-1 flat formation three wins in the last five and their key player is tosin the key attacking player who plays up top so Torre is out with the red card so we're gonna have to go with Corey at the center back position he can play there so let's see if he does a good job there we're gonna quick sim it i'm feeling a loss though here would not be surprised come on boys and it is a loss two nil defeat and once again a worse performance from the last game and that's six points dropped already in the first two games just like last episode we're really not good at starting the episodes off and yeah i mean i just don't know what to do all right another game we are gonna sim is against stad rhymes here we're gonna do the pre-match report they play a 4-2-3-1 wide formation they have lost four in the last five matches agbadu is their key defensive player and their tactical vision is wing play so hopefully we can beat them they're towards the bottom of the table but last time this happened to us we we ended up losing tori is back in the squad though so that would definitely help us but let's see if the boys can do can get a win here a result can they do it can they do it nope three losses from three guys we lose three two and it's a close match and once again they score in the uh the final the last 10 minutes of the game and oh my god i don't know what to do this team is just in a funk right now Gwe, only one that had a good game i guess he got the two goals for us but kebal i mean tori kate cow just not good performances and then zach stefan man I just he concedes a lot Quatang I mean Corey came off the bench he had a good game and yeah so we have once again the youth squad to look at so we got some scout reports back so we have this guy right here Mateo Guerra not too bad 44 to 60 rated and then he has a potential of 71 to 94 not too bad at all I'm gonna go ahead and sign him and then we have this guy as well Vincenzo Poli not too bad of a potential I mean just shy of 70 but I can work with it we can try to see how good he is let's go ahead and sign him and then unfortunately Bruno will not be good enough so we can't sign him and let's go ahead and take a look at these guys rating so uh richie the player that we already had is at 55 rated so he's gone up another rating there his potential has dropped a little bit though that's a little concerning then we have paulie here 69 to 93 he's a 53 rated not too bad he's also another center back and then we have guerra pretty good honestly 71 to 94 51 rated he has time to prove to improve because he's only 15 years old we're gonna go ahead and do development plans for these lads and this lad right here guerra i feel like he could probably become a center back so let's Let's go ahead and train him to be a center back. It's only going to take two weeks for him to get there. So with three potential center backs that we could have there uh, for the future. Here we are, guys. Another game we're going to get into against Leon. And I'm honestly concerned for this game because obviously Olympic Leon has better teams than the teams we've been versing. But hopefully these lads can bounce back, man, because it just not has been good. Look at that. They're undefeated in the last five. Two wins and three draws. 4-2-3-1. Tactical vision is wing play. And their key defensive and attacking player is going to be Kakaret here. This is a squad we are going with let's go ahead and try to see guys if we could try to get something from this match i think last time we had leon we actually lost against them so maybe we could try to get the upset here and win on the second one let's go ahead and find out all right come on boys a tough match ahead of us but one that we can try to win no they're through here save it oh my god no one nil down and we probably are gonna lose this game i have no hope in this team right now once again who's out of position on the i think it's i don't know what mabao is doing or it's actually yeah it was mabao who was up there and alvaro just cannot track back enough for him and we are one nil down come on let's get it come on let's just get a header on it mabao yes finally it has been coming and mabao finally gets a goal from a corner once again and we are all squared up now. A good delivery from Gwe, who gets the assist and looks for Mabao. And Mabao finally gets up and places it perfectly into the bottom left corner. All right, you guys, half time. Surprisingly, we are tied up with Leon thanks to that Mabao corner goal. And we started playing a little bit better towards the end. Look at how many shots. I mean, we've had so many opportunities to be in the front. I mean, just their goalkeeper is just coming up clutch for them right now. So we need to do better at taking our chances and getting, you know, accurate shots because we've been right in front of the goal, but it's just gone straight to the keeper i'm gonna do something a little bit bold i'm gonna put Cade cow up top i'm gonna take tori off since he is a little bit tired and put Lucan Bila on the left hand side let's see what Cade cow can do at the striker position maybe that could be his you know his calling but let's go ahead and get into the second half and find out oh kotang Cade cow gives it to guay guay kebal strikes it oh what a beautiful goal wow just like that we get up 
we get a goal right away in the second half to put us up in this game and a great goal from Kibal and just some good tiki taka play from the boys to the Cape Cow to Gue and finds Kebal who strikes it with some good power and placement puts it past the keeper and we are 2-1 up guys let's go Gue Cape Cow gives it to Kebal Kebal can you get a third one for us Kebal he strikes it oh yes. it's 3-1 against leon and what a result we're having so far what a goal Kibal just tries to get through the defenders and he does and strikes it like a, like his first goal almost in the same corner and it's 3-1 for paris fc look at mila Kibal for the hat trick oh my god off the post oh that could have been his hat trick that should have been his hat trick there it is guys what a result 3-1 after going down 1-0 early in the game and honestly it did not look good for us we managed to get it back though and that is what i'll have to see from my team a very very nice result we finally get three points after disappointing back to back to back games in this episode look at just how many shots we had 14 shots compared to leon's two and we had a little bit less possession but we were actually possessing towards the end of that game pretty Pretty nicely and looking at the performances of the players Gwei, man of the match again this guy is just on fire recently two assists for him kebal he could have had the hat trick if he didn't hit the post there he got two goals kade cow with an assist mabao got the goal and overall a good performance from the team Alrighty, guys into our coupe national game the quarterfinals against toulouse fc and honestly a lot of our players are pretty pretty fatigued right now you guys will see right now but first let's get into our pretty much report so they play four two three one wide formation they've won two drew two and lost one in the last five matches the tactical vision is wing play key defensive player is piaskowski and then key attacking player is a brown hill we just went against Tulu not too long ago but this is the team right now guys look at that what ty is very very tired cowl ebal alvaro our main stars are the ones that are tired so i'm gonna try to figure out what's the best option to go with here and see what we can uh, what kind of lineup we can get with this is the team we're gonna have to go with guys it's such a weak team but i'm gonna get a lot of our players on uh, pretty early in the game i just need to to rest a little bit the players i won't be able to rest is like kate cow torre other than that i have camara on lopez on and manduki on for kibal watai and alvaro alvaro and kibal are, you know arguably our two best players in the squad and they are going to be sitting on the bench for a little bit of the game so i'm hoping that this doesn't you know cause us too much trouble but let's go ahead and get into the game guys to find out if it does all right a tough match a lot of these players don't play as much and i'm hoping that they can step up to the plate and give us a good result today no way bro what oh my god that's so bs this game just this game just loves to do that to me look at this like how does he oh my god of course he gets a foot in and then my keeper cannot save it all right we're one note down guys and not looking good but tank to lopez lopez can you get one for us to Gwei, Gwei, to Torre. Oh my God. How does he save that, man? Come on. Can Mabao get us a goal here? Mabao. Mabao. Yes. Come on. His second goal in a row. And we have equalized thanks to a nice goal from the captain, Mabao. Another assist for Gwei. And just look at this. A good delivery. Very good delivery. Mabao just getting in front of his opponent. Power it right at the keeper. But it's just too powerful, really. And gets past the keeper. All right, guys. Half time. 1-1 against Toulouse here. And not too bad. I mean, we got the equalizer. But a lot of my players are very, very tired. So I'm going to start just subbing them on. So we're going to go ahead and get... We're going to get the boy Alvaro on for Manduki. We're going to get Cabal on for Cade Cow. He's going to go ahead and play on the right. Actually, we'll switch those two here. And we're going to keep it like that for now. Torre is very tired. But he's just going to have to deal with it because we have no other striking options for him as of right now we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can try to get a winner here and move on to the semi-finals torre to Gwei. come on Gwei. do it for me do it for me lad yes Gwei gets a goal and puts us up 2-1 what a goal here just open up the defense a little counter attack and Gwei, he decided to be selfish he could have had cabal but he just decided to take it on his own because he knew he would score that and we're 2-1 up no no dude oh my god we just cannot clear the ball out that was my fault i should have just cleared it harder and oh my god he just lost an arm but yeah stefan saved it initially but just i mean a lucky deflection and they've equalized and we're 2-2 come on kebal oh my god can kebal get something for us he's tired kebal come on kebal what's i to torre torre 
Yeah, Alex Matai, his first goal for the club, and it is a crucial one. Oh my goodness, what just happened? We have scored in the dying embers of the game, and oh my, I just can't believe that just happened. I mean, Cabal with the counterattack gives it to Torre. Torre hits the post and it comes back to Atai, who actually made the initial pass to Torre. And he gets his first goal for the club. And what a moment it is because it is a crucial one in the quarterfinals to send us into the semifinals. And there it is, literally last kick of the game. Masaki Watai is the hero as he gets his first goal for the club and the winner against Toulouse. And just letting you guys know, I, I brought on what, uh, Masaki Watai like late into the game, literally. Like, like the last two minutes i brought him in for kamara who didn't have the greatest of games and i brought him in he instantly made an impact got the goal the winning goal way another man of the match performance a goal and an assist he was really good he was i mean the main starter that was starting today and he did very very good mabao of course with the goal Torre got the assist and just overall i mean wasn't the prettiest of games but we managed to win it and that's all i care about because we are through to the semifinals. Alrighty, guys for our last game of the episode is going to be against Stalad Reynes here let's go ahead and get to our pre-match report they play a four 3-3 three, three holding formation four star ratings two wins out of the last five they're not on the greatest of forms they have a player out with a red card tactical vision is wing play and they have zobildia as key defensive player and then boruzo as key attacking player i'm sorry if i mispronounced that this is the lineup we are going to go with Cade cal makes a start up top at striker position luke and Bila comes on the left and tori is dropped just because he's insanely tired after that one that last game he is very very tired he still didn't have enough time to fully rest up but everything else is back to normal let's go ahead and get into the match and let's see if we can end the episode off with a win Cade Cow let's see how he does in a full game in striker position go Cade Cow to Guay Guay he's gonna cut in he's gonna send Kibal Kibal touches he strikes and he scores come on Kibal is on fire right now as he gets another goal and Guay with a yet again another assist just a good counterattack. Uh, Gue with a nice little layoff for Kibal, who takes a touch and then strikes it with some good power. Let's go, Watai, the hero of last game. He's gonna go all the way. He, it seems like they leave him alone. Watai to get another goal. Yeah. <laughs> He gets another. And it seems like after that last match, he is starting to find his footing in this team because he has got himself another goal. And that's two goals in two games. And just takes it all the way and strikes it with some good placement rather than power. And it's 2-0. Kate Cow to Guay. Guay. Oh my goodness. We're just running circles around them. And Guay gets in on the action with an absolute banger of a goal. Just look at this. Kate Cow with the assist. And Guay gets it. Strikes it with his weak foot as well. And just what a rocket of a goal. And we're 3 0 up. No. Oh my god, he's offside. Thank goodness. All right, guys. Halftime 3 0. We, I mean, this is like the largest lead we've ever had at a halftime what a moment for this club so far i mean we we're just doing very 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 good and the players everyone is doing good Cade cow is having a good game guay no doubt he's gonna get mad of the match again he's got a goal and an assist in this game and just i mean what a what a performance I won't make any subs just because everyone on the bench is kind of tired. So I'm going to leave all the starters on for now. And maybe towards the end, we'll make some subs. But let's go ahead and get into the second match and see if we can see this game out with a win. Kid Cow to Guay. Guay, he's going to take all the way. Guay, he cuts it back. Luke and Bila. Oh my goodness, 4-0. And Luke and Bila, one of the bench players who doesn't play often, gets in on the action and puts us up 4-0. It's another assist for Guay, who is just absolutely bossing it. He gets the pass off, and Luke and Bila strikes it with his left foot. And we are 4-0 up. No way. Let's keep a clean sheet here, boys. Oh my god, I want the clean sheets. Zach Steffen is, Zach Steffen is honestly, uh, I just, I'm not gonna lie, he's kind of a, a mid keeper. He just concedes a lot of these goals that I really just shouldn't. I mean, our defense should have done better there, but you should never get near beating your post like that. Why is he, why is he diving to the right? You know? Oh my gosh. I wanted the, I wanted the clean sheet, but we did not get it. There it is, guys. 4-1 it ends, and what an absolute match. I mean, I think that's our best win ever. 4-1. I mean, what a result. Most likely our best result ever against a team in league one and look at that we even had more possession not that many shots compared to them six shots to their four but i'll take it so again Guay, i think that's three mat of the match performances in a row 10.0 rating he got a goal and a hat trick of assist i mean ever since i put him in that center attacking mid position that is when he really started to pick up but ty another great performance from him got the goal luke and Bila got a goal as well kade cow with an assist kibal with a goal and overall a very very nice performance from the team but that is going to be it for this episode 
episode guys i hope you guys enjoy let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the episode don't forget to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and don't forget to subscribe if you are new hit that bell notification to get notified when all of my videos go live don't forget to follow all my social media down in the description below guys and that's gonna be it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one